Santland, the land of sand. Hello and welcome everybody, Chris back with another fragrance review, this time coming to you from a very nice setting, a marina, a yacht harbour here in Croatia and this is done on purpose because the, uh, the fragrance and especially the designer of today's review is uh, very much giving you this type of vibe and, and he truly deserves to be reviewed in a classy high-end great um, environment. We are talking about Monsieur Louis Ferro, the late great Louis Ferro, and I have to say that um, there's many French designers that we remember, that we remember greatly from Coco Chanel to Christian Dior and Yves Saint Laurent and so on, but Louis Ferro was a giant in uh, France's fashion industry and he was an artist as well. He started uh, his own Maison de Couture in, in Cannes, very similar setting than here, back in the 1950s and then he um, opened up a house obviously in Paris as well and he became highly successful throughout the 60s creating designs for Brigitte Bardot for her movies and then he was even honored in the 90s with the Légion d'honneur, uh, a, a legion of honor from the French state. Now, um, he passed away in 1999 and his brand was carried on, the Ferro brand, uh, brand was carried on. Um, and in 2005 a fragrance came out called Ferro Homme. Now, this is a very underrated, under the radar uh, gem which you know that I like a lot. And, um, and so I was, I was eyeballing this for a, for a good while and then I, I decided to go for it um, because it's, I like the brand and I like the fact that it's not your overhyped, um, overly popular uh, Chanel or Dior, um, but at the same time it really gives you uh, the quality of all of these uh, houses totally. Ferro Homme in, in particular, and I think for granted guys getting it wrong here, is a fantastically nicely done citrus ginger fragrance with light woods in the dry down. I totally get both citrus, citrus and ginger at the, from the very beginning um, and therefore it's very reminiscent or reminding you of um, all the very popular releases of, of today, especially uh, I'm talking about Dior Homme Sport, okay? Now this was released in 2005, so at the very early beginning of that hype that Dior Homme Sport cre created throughout the years, actually even before, because you remember that Dior Homme Sport, the first one, the very gingery one, came out in 2008, this was out in 2005, so who's the trendsetter then? Who is the trendsetter? Yet, Nobody knows Luis Ferro Homme, everybody knows Dior Homme Sport. So that's the trick of the game, I'm really telling you. This is a, a tremendously refreshing, sophisticated, nice citrus ginger fragrance. No more and no less. For summer days, places like this, especially I like it in the morning, um, paired up with a nice breakfast. Orange juice, I love orange juice with my breakfast. Um, nice Mediterranean breakfast um, paired up with a citrusy, gingery, easygoing, bright, optimistic smell in the morning just makes you smile throughout the day and makes you uh, really puts you in a happy mood and uh, you can use it even for sports like tennis or golf or anything, it's very versatile, obviously it's a citrus ginger fragrance is going to get you a lot of compliments, it's going to please a lot of people around you and yourself as well. Um, in regards to the performance, it has a, a an eau de toilette performance, I would say five to six hours. Um, you're happy to reapply any time. Um, the dry down from the citrus and ginger beginning is going toward a um, light, woody, still citrusy 
direction um, and the ginger keeps it keeps it really interesting a bit more than just being a, a simple citrus fragrance you remember the Rome Sport, the first one was all about ginger you know and I, I consider that the best deal on Spore. So here, paired up, the ginger paired up with these nice citruses in the beginning, it's even better. And it's, it's slightly green as well. There's a green aspect to it that gives it more of a class, right? So overall, this beats today's um, Dior's and Chanel's, uh, all the overhyped stuff easily. The, 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 the design is great as well of the bottle. Uh, it's very, uh, this is a, uh, this is a 75 mil. Uh, you have the sprayer in here. Works like this. It's very adjustable. Small, small amounts, large amounts. It's great. I love it. And um, it's ferro. Okay. You see it this way. Yeah. All the information in the back. Um, just very special design. Great because it fits into your back pocket, so you can carry it along. And um, here, an overall presentation, performance, smell. Um, if you're looking for a great, invigorating, happy um, fragrance that just gets you started for the day, it's, it's good for your casual wear, good for your office wear, you know, try to look at Ferro Homme instead of your usual uh, picks that you have from all the freshies that are around on the shelves today. Um, so I'll stick to this. For these occasions, again, as I say, for me, it's breakfast. It's a breakfast fragrance to start your day with a smile and an orange juice and ferro on. This was Chris from Scentland. And uh, enjoy the scenery. Uh, obviously, I do not own a boat here yet, but you know, it may happen in the future. Take care. Bye-bye.